Well, you might call it the baby blues. For a lot of women, thousands of you, who suffer postnatal depression, uh, I hope that that journey wasn't too difficult. But the chances are that it were, because nobody expects you to be depressed when you've just given birth to a new baby, all the joy that's surrendered with it. So there's the way that it's viewed and how people treat you, but more importantly, it's whether or not the National Health Service is able to help those families who are affected by this. Now, this week, the MP for Huddersfield, Barry Shearman, is taking a motion to Parliament calling for more to be done to help those women and their families who suffer. And Barry Shearman is here. Good morning. Morning, Liz. It's almost shameful, really, that there isn't enough provision for those women and their families who are dealing with this. Well, Liz, the problem is that in some parts of the country, it is, there, is, there is provision, it's, and it's a lot better than others. It's a really a patchwork. Um, and, of course, what most people know, if you've ever suffered from depression in your life, or when you give birth, you're, likely to, you're much more likely to get postnatal depression. And to, in too many areas, no one ever asks the person who's pregnant, have you ever suffered from depression? It's a very simple question. And whilst, you know, in, in, before you have the baby, um, people ask all sorts of questions about the physical health, not enough attention to, you know, past history of anything that, that touches on depression. Uh, 10,000 women in Yorkshire are affected uh, by this. 100,000, actually, 10,000 in Yorkshire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Leeds has got its own mother and baby unit and specialist perinatal mental health services, but they're scarce elsewhere across this county. That's right. And uh, if people forget this is one of the most, well, it's just about the likeliest thing to kill a, a healthy young woman because, you know, healthy young women are healthy. Uh, but if you want to look at what the, the real killer is, it is postnatal. Uh, unattended, unattended no, women not supported, uh, and this dreadful thing happens. And they, 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 in desperation, they, they go to suicide. Let's talk about that with Chris Bingley, who I know you've been working alongside Barry Sherman. Chris, good morning, good morning to you Liz. from Huddersfield. Now, let's just remind people, you lost your wife. It was to do with postnatal depression. Uh, you founded the Joanne Bingley Memorial Foundation. You want to educate and raise awareness on this. Uh, uh, and briefly, if Joanne had been sectioned and there had been more help for her, she would not have taken her own life. That, that's correct. The coroner's inquest ruled that as a statement of fact an independent investigation that was performed into Joe's case. You know, it, it failed, NHS failed her. She was a nurse for 20 years and they failed her. Uh, none of the risk assessments that should have been done prior to her giving birth were done, even though she'd got a history of mental illness and she'd suffered depression, postnatal depression, after a miscarriage. And they just failed to complete the questionnaires and risk assessments. So, Barry, for families like Chris, who's now bringing up their little girl on his own, and this, this, this battle has cost you in more than one way, Chris Bingley, I know that, from Huddersfield. What do you want to happen, Barry Sherman, to help families like Chris? Can I just say, Chris is a wonderful campaigner, and he's the reason I'm campaigning. The best sort of campaign, if someone comes to you like Chris, and he won't let it go, he doesn't want other women to suffer from what his wife has suffered tragically from. What we want to do is, and I know Chris agrees with me, we want a much higher level of understanding that this happened, and you know, destigmatize this sort of, it is a kind of mental illness, yes. but people become ashamed of it. Why should I? I'm happy, I've got a new baby. Why should I be in depression? So we need to destigmatize it. We've got to train more NHS staff. Uh, yes, we need some more resources, but it's a level of awareness of this problem and that it kills so many young people. So when you take your motion to Parliament this week, what are the specifics, Barry, that you're asking for? I'm calling for a, 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 a review. I'm asking for a very clear look at this uh, new uh, medical test that people are talking about that is, is, is wonderful. They can uh, uh, do a test about your likelihood of suffering from postnatal depression. Um, it is, it is a, a, an, ED, an early day motion really raising the profile. But it's only a bit of the armory. Do you, do you, you said what, what do you, what, what, it doesn't do anything. It, it raises the profile. But what Chris and I are doing, and a whole group of people now, is just campaigning 
all the time. You know, health questions popping up, getting other MPs to, to be aware of it in their constituency. You know, letting them know in every constituency what the incidence of, uh, of postnatal depression is and suicide. So it, it's a job that we've just, you know, we, we've, Chris and I have been working on this a long time. This is where we get serious and say everyone should know about mm. the dangers. Uh, Chris, thank you, Barry Sherman, MP for Huddersfield, Labour MP for Huddersfield. Chris, do you think you are making a difference through the Joanne Bingley Memorial Foundation? Liz, we know we're making a difference. Uh, start of this year, a new organisation called the Maternal Mental Health Alliance was born, and it's 30 organisations, including all of the Royal Colleges of London, um, and most of the UK's leading charities, and we've got Comet Relief backing to start our campaign and push things through, like Barry's been saying, and we're working with MPs. Just two weeks ago, the NSPCC issued a, an update report into the dire straits of services around the country, and as a result of that, as a direct result of that, the Maternal Mental Health Alliance with the Royal College of GPs can have announced just last weekend, basically, that maternal mental health will be a clinical priority for GPs, midwives and health visitors from 2014. And how are you? Are you all right? I am fine. I have a beautiful little daughter that's precocious and drives me wild. <laughs> uh, but 95% of the time, like any little child, she's lovely. Uh, she's three and a half now, and she's just getting ready with great-grandma to, to go to nursery. <laughs> All right, you have a good day and good to speak to you again, Chris. Thank you, Thank you. Much, Chris Bingley. He lost his wife to postnatal depression. He is the founder of the Joanne Bingley Memorial Foundation, which originated out of Huddersfield. And you heard from the Labour MP for Huddersfield, Barry Shearman. And this issue raised in Parliament this week. It's half seven. West Yorkshire Travel. BBC Radio Leeds. Day one of the Great Yorkshire Show. And it's the Russia. Let's see what's happening. Here's David James. It would appear to be.